Hey, so I don't know if anyone is interested in how I live stream on YouTube, but I thought it might make an interesting video if I showed you how I live stream on YouTube. And we will start with the equipment I have. So I have my microphone, which is a Go XLR microphone. I used to have a Blue Yeti, which I still have, but I just don't use anymore. Um, so it's an XLR, it plugs into the Focusrite Solo, which is a XLR to USB device. So it can connect to my PC. My PC is just like a normal PC, which can stream and game at the same time. I also have a capture card device by Elgato, which goes my Xbox and Switch goes into. So then I can live stream console games from there. Sometimes I have issues with PC games on my setup. So if it's an Xbox, a uh, Microsoft game, if the game's on Xbox, I can then install it on Xbox and know that it will work with no issues. So that's basically it from a hardware standpoint. Obviously, oh, and my camera is a Razer um kayo pro i think bought it off a friend so that's pretty much it for hardware i used to have a logitech c920 it really doesn't matter so much on hardware as long as you sound and look good and then we have the actual software so i use obs if we just go to desktop and i just bring this over here you can see obs and I have Stream Elements plugin plus a vertical plugin. Um, Stream Elements is really cool because you can have like chat in a window and you can interact with that um, and do some kind of um, some other bits. I also have Stream Elements um, Stream Elements overlay, which I take off when recording videos. You can see it here. And it just has some bits. There's also alerts that pop up, which is cool. So that's it from OBS. This is then YouTube Studio. I basically schedule all of my streams, or pretty much all of my streams. And you can see a scheduled one here. I then also use Stream Elements for my overlays and chatbot. You can see dashboard. We have elements. Um, I added this one. I'm not sure if it works or not. We'll find out one day. And then we have my overlay. And this is how I've got it set up. So this is chat, alerts. Um, I don't know what this one is. Probably an, oh, it's another alert box. And then we have subscriber goal and tip goal, which is optional. You don't have to do that. I try to keep it as minimal as possible. And then we can emulate like subscriber events. Hello there. There we go. I don't know why there's, oh, there might be audio on your side. I don't know, but yeah, that's pretty much how it's run. And then we have chatbot which is great for commands and spam filtering although i've completely turned it off now because sometimes it gets a bit mod happy and removes a bunch of messages that were fine and i'm just like what are you doing like don't do that but yeah it's fine um so that's that part and we also have voice mod this is how i you enhance my voice audio. So I use voice enhancer. It says it's a temporary free voice, but it's been here for so long. So I don't know if they're going to get rid of it for free, for the freebies, but they should keep it on there. Otherwise you have clean, which sounds like this. So it's less bass. There's a little bit more, um, I don't know, actually. Yeah, you can sort of still hear background noise a bit more. It does cut some out, 
but it's not as good as the voice enhancer. And then you can do other fun stuff. And that's pretty much that. I also have my stream deck. And these are the buttons I have set up. So these are the um, buttons from voice mod. So I can do the sense and I can do applause. And they're basically buttons on my stream deck. And then we have a button for start streaming, switching scenes, muting and unmuting my microphone. And that's pretty much all I have set up on here at the minute, but there will be more, probably more stuff on there at some point. And then we have like this views thing, which I'm not sure if it works or not. Backtrack is used for the vertical plugin. So if something really funny happens, or there's a scene that I really think will work on YouTube shorts or vertical, I can backtrack it. I usually set it to a minute because I can then cut it down if I need to on my video editing software. And I will do a video on recording videos and stuff like that in the future. So yeah, that's pretty much how I live stream and what my setup looks like. Um, if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments down below. If there's something in particular you want to know more about, then let me know and I'll be more than happy to reply to your comment. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe to see more, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.